Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Life with Patty. And it is Friday evening and we have had our dinner and we've uh, watched our programs on TV and I've done some coloring and now I am here to finally share for weeks 35 and 36 out of my artisan journal for the hashtag open collab hashtag artisan journal prompt 2024 and this is hosted by me and it is an open collab it started the first week of january and like i said we are now on week 36 i will be giving the prompt on sunday for week 37 but i was behind for week 35 i didn't get my um i didn't get my layouts done for that week so I just said I would do it with week 36 which is this week and that prompt is yarn so we have Andy seriously every time so we have movie cinemax and yarn for the prompts for me to show you out of my artisan journal now if you are new to my channel like I said, this is an open collab and every Sunday I give you a new prompt and you take that prompt and you just run with it and you create whatever you want as long as you tie that prompt into your pages. You can do one or two pages. As you see, my journal got so, so huge because I used so many bulky materials that I had to get these big ring rings here and take my... Um, journal apart with the help of my co-worker at work. So this is what I have left of the journal and I'm using these pages and then putting them into this book uh, when I finish them. So if you've noticed, I just this week I started adding some stickers to my cover. I wasn't sure what I was going to do with my cover. I wasn't sure if I was going to cover it with paper, cover it with fabric or what. And so I decided I was just gonna collage it with a bunch of different stickers or if I have um, jewels or flat backs or whatever, and that's what I'm gonna put on here. So let's get started with week 35, which was Movie Cinemax. All right, I gotta, oh shoot, it ripped. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'll have to go back and fix those. Man. All right. So, like I said, last week, or two weeks ago, was Movie Cinemax. And I was surprised at how many people had a hard time with Movie Cinemax. I thought it would be super easy and then this next week I had yarn and I thought that might be kind of hard and yet everybody was excited about that one and ran with it. So what I did for Movie Cinemax week is that I just, I had some movie stickers and I placed them all over here. And movies was something as a child, my parents didn't take us to the movies. We, I, maybe by the time I hit high school, I had seen three movies at the theater and of course back then we didn't have DVD or VHS or any of those kind of things to watch movies on and we watched uh, The Sound of Music and Wizard of Oz on TV on Thanksgiving it would come on on Thanksgiving evening and that's the only reason I saw those two movies um, and I didn't see them at the theater my father however as a young child growing up in the 40s he went to the movies, he said, every weekend almost. And they were super poor. <laughs> but they scraped enough mo money for them to go to the movies. And um, so he said The Wizard of Oz was the first movie he ever saw in color. And anyways, back to this. I love movies now. And I don't go to the movie theater a lot. But we buy a lot of DVDs and we watch DVDs. And I know that's old school. A lot of people streamline on Netflix or different Hulu, different stuff like that. 
our internet is not fast enough to do that out here. So we buy DVDs and we have probably, I don't know, I want to say between three to 500 of them. And we watch them all the time because I love movies. Now, more of the newer movies I haven't seen, but I put together some list of some favorite movies of mine. Um, I believe it was Donna's Design or Susan Hartstring, one of the two, listed a bunch of movies that she liked. And then also somebody else did too. And their taste was completely, oh, Annie Creates. Annie, Annie's type of movies are way different than what I like. I like kind of the mushy ones. She likes kind of the scary ones. Um, but Donna, I think it was, that did all the different movies that she remembers that she liked. She shared that. Um, and they shared them through, um, they had printed them off on their printer. Well, I don't have one of those here at home. So I just put them on these tags that I, um, that I cut out, but let me read them to you and I have to turn this around to read them. So some of my favorite movies and I have 30 listed here. Let me know if any of these are your favorite movies at, or what is your favorite movie? Put it in the comments below. But some of my favorite movies are The Wizard of Oz and The Sound of Music, two classics that I love. The movie Grease, I think I saw Grease with Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta. I think I was in the sixth or seventh grade and it came out in the summer. And I did go with my friends to see it at the movie theater and fell in love with Olivia Newton-John and um, thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world and sang so wonderful and I bought her double album and we played it all the time and we played karaoke with a hairbrush before karaoke was really a thing <laughs> uh, so Greece I have on here some others that I really like um, that are way newer than those is Made in Manhattan with Jennifer Lopez I love that movie How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days that's with Matthew McConaughey and um and uh, Whoopi Goldberg's daughter. What is her name now? I'm drawing a blank. Um, Big Daddy, I liked that movie. Raising Helen, loved that movie. Again, same actress as uh, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, uh, Goldie Hawn's daughter. Why am I drawing a blank to her name now? That's driving me crazy. Miss Congeniality and While You Were Sleeping, both with Sandra Bullock, another awesome actress. Pretty Woman and um, Steel Magnolia, both with Julia Roberts in both of those. Titanic, I love Titanic. And I went and saw that at the movie theater, I think four times because it, we knew it wouldn't come out on um, VHS for at least a year. So love Titanic. Sleepless in Seattle with Meg Ryan, oh my gosh, such a classic. I love that one. Hope Floats, that one was with, um, I think that one was with Sandra Bullock as well, but I could be wrong, but that, loved Hope Floats. Fool's Rush In, that was an awesome movie. Home Alone, A River Runs Through It, Turner and Hooch, Uncle Buck, I think I say to this day, I'm busting a hump, earning my keep from that movie. <laughs> Curly Sue, something to talk about. That is with, um, I, I, I want to say that's with Julia Roberts. I'm not sure. A Walk to Remember, such a good movie. Andre, which is kind of a kid's movie, but I still loved it. Jungle to Jungle, Christmas Vacation, Splash. Blast from the Past, love that movie. Ferris Bueller's Day Off, You've Got Mail, and Where the Heart Is. So those are 30 of my favorite movies. I have so many more, but that, those were just some that came to my mind. So um, let me know if you guys watched or liked any of those. Okay, then for the, the current week, the... Um, the prompt was yarn and oh my gosh you guys I 
decorated this out of the binder and I did it upside down. So you're getting to see it right side up and, I, and then I'm gonna turn the binder around and it's gonna be upside down. It is what it is. I still, I still love it. So anyways, yarn. Okay, I had two different kinds of baby yarn. The real thick kind that I lined here and I did this page as well, but I'm gonna turn it around to show you that page. I didn't like this ink that I blotched on it after I put the stickers on. It was too bright. I was thinking it was going to be more like a light pink, but I should have tested it on a piece of paper and I didn't. So it's more of a deep red, but it is what it is. When I, ha I think of yarn, I know how to knit a basic stitch. I can make a scarf. I can make a baby blanket that's just all one, one kind of stitch. I can make pot holders, um, washcloths but I don't know how to knit really well. My mother knitted 24 seven. My mom always kept an immaculate home. And as she got older, when we were kids, she was always involved on in all of our activities. But as she got older, she would clean her house, do all that, make my dad's meals, whatever. And then she always sat down and knitted. She knitted every one of my children in an Afghan. She knitted all the time. It was her therapy. She loved to knit. She couldn't just sit and watch a TV program without doing something. So she loved to watch TV. And so when they would settle down for the evening, she'd have her TV on and she would be knitting. And so I always think of yarn as my mother. My grandmother, okay, so let's turn this around. So this page um, has some yarn on it, and then mostly grandma stickers after that. My father's mother, she crocheted amazing, and she would crochet us blankets and pillows, and she even crocheted um, doll clothes, doll dresses for my dolls. So this was the only thing that was yarn in here, and she also sewed Barbie clothes for my Barbies. She was an amazing lady. Um, and so I just put all these things on here. It's funny that I put the cookies because this grandmother, she couldn't cook in the kitchen very well at all. She burnt everything. So there was no seasoning on anything. Then my other grandmother, which was my mom's mom, she was an amazing cook and baker. She could cook like no other. They owned a restaurant. She was a wonderful cook but she couldn't knit or crochet anything. So they were totally opposites, but um, those are my memories of my grandmothers and my mother. My brother is an amazing knitter and um, he knits sweaters, he knits blankets. He's, yeah, he picked it up from my mom. And so, like I said, I like to knit, but I'm not a really good knitter. And I tried to crochet and I just never got the hang of it. So these are my project shares for Yarn and Movie Cinemax. And I hope you enjoyed them with my upside down one there. I really like how my Movie Cinemax came out. My Yarn one, not so much. But I do like how my Movie Cinemax came out. So I will be back here Sunday morning. Um, and that will be midnight Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Um, Pacific time, Pacific coast, yeah, California time at 9 p.m. with the prompts for week 37, and I think everybody's going to like it. So you guys have a great weekend, and I shall see you soon. Bye-bye.